we know that calcium and especially yogurts are related to weight maintenance. Uh, we know that probably in some studies we have some relationship of uh, losing weight, uh, but especially in weight maintenance. Obesity and weight control was a hot topic at the 2014 experimental biology meeting. Because of their effect on satiety, fermented dairy products, and particularly yogurts, are an interesting option for losing weight. Almost 15 years ago, Michael Zemel published a clinical trial in African American demonstrating that there was a decrease of five kilos, almost five kilos of body fat in response to a one-year yogurt supplementation. The high content in calcium of food appears especially important, in particular for individuals who carry a genetic vulnerability to developing obesity and type 2 diabetes. It seems if you have these predispositions to type 2 diabetes, that then if you have calcium on top of that, you can actually modulate your BMI with that. Actually, milk proteins could be the main contributors to prevent obesity because they appear very good at inducing satiation. There are data indicating that when yogurt is offered as a, pre as a preload, a meal preload, uh, there will be an impact on uh, appetite sensation, in a sense favoring uh, a facilitation of appetite control. And a study validated this preload strategy with a yogurt enriched in proteins. Recently, we have tried to uh, modify the structure of uh, a yogurt formulation. The most uh, <clears throat> significant manipulation that we were able to induce was related to the increase in the ratio of whey protein on casein. Uh, resulting in a significant decrease of almost 200 kilocalories uh, at a subsequent lunch uh, being consumed at libitum. So when we compare this number to the 60 calorie content of the yogurt, uh, <coughs> there was a, a compensation, a much greater compensation in energy intake, suggesting a short-term negative energy balance induced by yogurt con cons consumption. Mm -hmm.